Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Aisha Ibrahim. The Deputy King His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Council of Representatives. Upon arrival, he was welcomed by the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Lim Salam, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad took the opportunity to highlight that His Majesty, the King's opening address to the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives, had laid the foundations for the Kingdom's comprehensive development. His Royal Highness also emphasized the importance of strengthening cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and the private sector to meet development goals.
As directed by His Royal Highness the Deputy King, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa then presented the 2023 to 2026 government plan. Addressing the Council, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed that it is his honor to open the new legislative term and assured that the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will continue to progress. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah congratulated the Shura Council members on their appointment and the representatives on their election following the kingdom's highest ever voter turnout. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed his pride in being entrusted with presenting the 2023 to 2026 government plan to the council and noted that the program will contribute to the kingdom's comprehensive development and improve the quality of services offered. The Deputy Prime Minister then conveyed His Royal Highness's congratulations and well wishes to the Council as it seeks to deliver for the Bahraini people. During the Council's session, El Salam delivered an address in which he welcomed the Deputy Prime Minister and government members to the Council session and called on His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah to review the 2023 to 2026 government plan before the Council of Representatives. El Salam emphasized the importance of the government program to progress the Kingdom's comprehensive development and provide opportunities for Bahraini citizens. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received British Minister of the Armed Forces James Hebe. The BDF Commander-in-Chief praised the depth of the close friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which have solid historical roots in various fields. He also praised the existing bilateral military cooperation between the two friendly countries in various military fields, including those related to the exchange of experiences and defence cooperation. On behalf of his, the uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the new building of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Air Traffic Management Center of the Ministry, both located in Amharra Governorate, close to Bahrain International Airport. On this occasion, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed his deepest thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for deputizing him to inaugurate these two buildings, which embody the support and interest enjoyed by the transportation and telecommunication sector that reflects the continued endeavors to achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty the King. He said that the inauguration of these two projects coincides with the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebrations of its glorious national days, which is an opportunity to highlight the achievements of civilization and shed light on the efforts made to enhance the economic position of the kingdom in accordance with the principles of sustainability, competitiveness and justice called for by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa explained that these two buildings, which are vital projects, reflect the importance of integrating government efforts within Team Bahrain. In the building sector, in which the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects is keen to follow up the progress of its projects, and is supervised and implemented by the Ministry of Works, which takes into account in its architectural designs a balance between meeting needs and preserving the environment and ideas that combine high highlighting the Bahraini identity and the contemporary modernist spirit of the buildings. During the opening ceremony, the Deputy Prime Minister was brief on a photo gallery containing the latest developments in the projects being implemented by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication, on which would enhance the link between the Kingdom of Bahrain with the countries of the region and the world and establish its reputation as one of the leading countries in the field of providing distinguished air and sea navigation services. For his part, a Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Mohammed bin Thamir al kabi affirmed that the implementation of these two projects is an achievement added to the construction process and embodies a true translation of the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. 
For his part, Minister of Works Ibrahim bin Hassan al Hawaj said that the ministry has developed engineering plans that ensure the completion of the new model building of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication on an optimal manner that supports the initiatives of the Economic Recovery Plan. In the presence of Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governor held a ceremony honoring the supporting and collaborating bodies of programs and events that the Governor held during the year 2022. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa affirmed that the efforts of all parties pour into supporting the concept of community partnership and communicating with various sectors in achieving development projects and involving their people and citizens in all the events and programs held by the governorate. His Highness praised the achievements of various projects that contributed to meeting the needs of citizens in various fields, noting that the successful models presented by the supporting contributing parties had a positive impact in highlighting the active role of joint cooperation throughout the past year. His Highness the Governor of the Southern Government honored more than 30 supportive and collaborating bodies. His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan received today Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, who is leading Bahrain's delegation to the second edition of the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership. The meeting was attended by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates Ayman al safadi The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan and their best wishes for the success of the Baghdad Conference and further progress and prosperity for Jordan. For his part, His Majesty the King of Jordan welcomed the Minister of Foreign Affairs and extended his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and his wishes to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for further progress and development. The Jordanian monarch expressed his appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its participation in this important conference that aims at enhancing partnership and cooperation between the participating countries and Iraq, as well as supporting its efforts to continue its development path. His Majesty the Jordanian monarch affirmed the deep-rooted historical relations linking the two brotherly countries and the continuous joint cooperation and coordination between them. His Majesty King Abdullah II affirmed the need to continue to increase the level of coordination between the foreign ministries of the two countries regarding regional issues and challenges in order to achieve peace, stability and development for the countries of the region. Upon directives of His Majesty the King, the Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the second edition of Baghdad's Conference for Cooperation and Partnership that was held in Jordan. The conference, which is presided over by His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, was attended by the Egyptian and French presidents, in addition to Kuwait's Prime Minister, Iraq's Prime Minister, and His Highness, the ruler of Ras al Khaimah in the United Arab Emirates. Addressing the conference, His Majesty the Jordanian monarch expressed uh, pride in hosting the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership. His Majesty King Abdullah II said that this meeting represents an opportunity to reaffirm support for Iraq's efforts to continue its path towards development and prosperity and to enhance its security, stability and respect for its sovereignty. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered Bahrain's speech at the conference in which he conveyed the greetings and wishes of His Majesty the King to the attendees for successful outcomes of the conference that enhance cooperation and partnership between the participating countries for the good and development of Iraq and its people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on enhancing cooperation and supporting Iraq, maintaining its security and stability and restoring its pivotal role as an effective force in its Arab and regional arenas.
On the sidelines of the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership, Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani met in Jordan with European Union High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Joseph Borrell. The two sides discussed bilateral relations linking Bahrain and the European Union in addition to means to enhancing areas of cooperation at various levels. Within the framework of the joint cooperation mechanism signed between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the European External Action Service. The Ministry of Housing has started distributing units to eligible citizens in East Head Town. This came following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the order of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to distribute 6,128 housing services to citizens across all governorates. Housing Minister Amna bint Ahmed al-Rumihi said that the East Sitra units were distributed during the national days. The minister pointed out that the distribution in the East Head Town project is the second project included in the distribution plan. She highlighted that the achievement of this project meets the requests for ownership apartments for citizens. Bahrain International Airport BIA has taken another important step toward becoming a completely carbon neutral facility, meeting all requirements to upgrade to level 4 transformation as stipulated by the Airport Council's International Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. BIA is the second airport in the Middle East to reach level 4, becoming one of just 23 airports globally to hold this status. To celebrate this milestone, BIA's operator and managing body Bahrain Airport Company held a ceremony recognizing its airport partners and the BAC Health, Safety and Environment team for their contribution towards this achievement. The ACI program is the only institutionally endorsed carbon management certification standard for airports, recognizing facilities that successfully manage and reduce their carbon footprint. The program has six increasingly stringent levels and accreditation, mapping reduc reduction, optimization, neutrality, transformation and transition. Today marks the first anniversary of the launch of the joint Bahraini Emirati satellite Light One. On an occasion to recall the first step towards achieving a greater national ambition represented in placing the Kingdom of Bahrain among the leading countries in the space sector. The Bahrain UAE joint nano satellite Light One, whose name was inspired by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's book First Light, has successfully arrived at the International Space Station. Light One recounts a key points in Bahrain's history and the name symbolizes the country's growth and scientific progress. It reflects the depth of bilateral ties between both nations and the level of strategic partnership in all fields, including space, science and technology. As part of the Bahrain festive season, the activities of the Heritage Village organized by the Ministry of Information Affairs, marking the Kingdom's celebration of national holidays, continue in Ras Hayyan. The Ministry had earlier announced that the festival will be extended until next Saturday, December 24th, due to the large public turnout for the festival. The festival includes many artistic and entertainment activities and events, as well as traditional markets, which reflect an important aspect of the authentic Bahraini identity.